What's going on everybody? Just got done lifting today. Today was a brutal last workout. Got in there and got it done. Today was back. Been about an hour and a half or so that I spent in the gym. Uh, just kind of want to talk to you guys about physical activity or exercise. So physical activity or exercise can improve your health and reduce the risk of developing several diseases like type 2 diabetes, cancer, and cardiovascular disease. And physical activity and exercise can have immediate and long-term health benefits. Most importantly though, regular activity can improve your quality of life. Now, if you are regularly physically active, you may reduce your risk of a heart attack. Not saying you're gonna cancel it out, just you may reduce it. Um, you also need to manage your weight better, have a lower blood cholesterol level, which will lower the risk of type 2 diabetes and some cancers. It will also make you have lower blood pressure, have stronger bones, muscles, joints, and it will also lower your risk of uh, osteoporosis. It will also lower your risk um, from long periods of hospitalization or bed rest. Now, that will give you more energy, a better mood, feel more relaxed, and sleep better. That's just physical activity and exercise. And you don't necessarily have to go to the gym to have physical activity or exercise. Literally walking is a form of exercise and activity. Playing is a physical activity. You know, like playing with your kids, it burns calories. Other activities are activities. Wink, wink. But seriously, just... Everyone has Netflix. Everyone has Hulu. Everyone has Disney+. Plus. You know, during commercial breaks on Hulu, bust out some squats or push-ups or sit-ups. You know, just do start somewhere. Don't think that you have to go get a gym membership. You have to get all this gym gear. You have to get all this, this clothing brand. You literally can do it in your living room by using your own body weight. Body weight exercises are probably the most beneficial exercises you can start with. Everyone starts there. So, and then once you start becoming in tune with your body, once you start understanding what your body can do, then you can go get a gym membership and then make that commitment. But give yourself at least a couple months of just working out in your living room and then go to the gym. And if you're afraid of going to the gym because you're afraid you're going to be fat shamed or skinny shamed, you're not. You know, a lot of the people in the gym have started where you're going to start or where, you're, where you've been. They've been there. They want to help you. They've done all the programs. They've done all the weight diets, the fad diets. They've done all this stuff. And if you just befriend somebody in the gym, they're going to let you know all this stuff. This is what worked for me. This is what didn't work for me. This is bogus. This is not bogus. And then they can kind of steer you off of the the wrong path, I guess, would be a better term. So, until tomorrow, guys, tomorrow is chest. Be happy, be healthy, be you. Stay safe and keep doing whatever you need to do. Stay happy. At the end of the day, deuces.